Hello, Jim here from Team Squirrel. What I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be revalving the rear shock on my Japanese motorcycle. Now this is a KYB shock, so some of you may say, well hey, I've got a orange bike, a red bike, an older white bike, a blue bike, a yellow bike, whatever you may have, fear not, because they're all very, very, very similar. So what I'm going to have to do, first of all, I'm going to have to take the seat off. So to do that, I've got a couple of bolts, one on each side, because the seat has to come off. In my case, the gas tank has to come off, because I've got to remove the subframe to be able to get to the uh, rear shock. Now there's four bolts on the subframe. There's one here, and there's also one under the seat, a long one, actually three bolts, and then there's one way over on this side over here. Now I don't have to remove the subframe completely, I just have to loosen the bolts and also undo the air boot at the back of the carburetor and just slide the rear subframe back. But before I do that I have to take this side cover off and remove the silencer because that's attached to the subframe. Because I, have to, I need to get the shock absorber out and into my hand so I can do what I need to do. Now some of you may not be revalving, some of you may be just be doing an oil change but the principle is the same and also the motorcycles are very much the same whether they're green, yellow, red, orange, blue, white, anything, it doesn't matter, they're all pretty much the same thing. So enjoy and I'm going to take the thing, take off the seat and then I'll show you what the subframe looks like and then uh, I'll take the bolts off get the shock in my hand and we'll go from there. So whether you're revalving or rebuilding or changing oil, this, the, all the principles are the same. Okay, signing out for now.